Hey guys, welcome back to the channel for a video of two halves. We're going to begin talking about my calf, how training's going and a general update. You're then going to join me from park run as I try and get my fastest ever 5k time and catch up with that PB from three years ago. It's been a real roller coaster, couple of weeks. There were times I feared a really lengthy layoff with this calf issue, which we'll talk about in a minute but I'm starting to believe this could be a really big week for me. It could be the breakthrough I've been looking for for so long. I'll explain exactly what I mean by that in just a second, but we really need to hit the trails. So why does this park run time mean so much? Well, I've suffered with self-doubt and a lack of confidence since I was at school comes from some pretty awful experiences that I don't want to get into but what matters is at times it suffocated me when my dancing career ended abruptly uh, this caused some real problems I wasted the best part of eight years of my life there doing absolutely nothing until I found running and my coach Jason Cavill who helped develop me and made me realize I could actually do something with this in 18 months, I went from a 22 minute 5k -er down to 18.02 and I felt like I was just scratching the surface. But then the injury started. Some were really unfortunate, others were overuse. But every time I felt like I was getting to that next level, we had a month or a two month layoff. This has been going on for three years now. And that 18.02 park run time has stayed the same throughout. I have a lot of unfinished business and as you can imagine, that 5K time has niggled at me for so many years. If I can go under 18 minutes on Saturday and take a good chunk off it, it'll tell me I'm in the best shape of my life and there's so much more to come because I feel like I can still improve quite a bit more in the months leading up to the Three Peaks Fell Race. I know my mom taught me that I figured why we fool around so little and we keep track of time being so serious idiots thinking it will matter keep me company downtown before the clock runs out sun is shining but the rain is welcome to friends are nearby don't need another view time is not on my mind but then it's you oh i love it when the love comes around and then all things must pass so the last update was about 10 days ago it was from the physio's office where i was stressed out i was exhausted and the whole body was like a bowstring we got that released off and i'm happy to say since then i felt much better we've done easy running just to let everything settle down for a week and then came back with some speed work on wednesday just gone the calf however day by day has started to concern me a little bit it's not hurting while i run and i'm fine to do speed work and push myself but i keep feeling this sickening tightness at the most random times after sessions doesn't feel like injury pain it's all coming from this lump so i went to the doctors last week and uh, he had a good feel around said it isn't scar tissue and his hunch is it's not injury related he thinks it's a growth so we're getting books in for a scan to investigate and find out exactly what we're dealing with. I'm not concerned. I am at that sort of age where you need to look into these things. But for now, I'm going to put it to my back of my head unless it starts to hurt while I am running. With the confidence of two professionals saying they didn't think it was an injury, I decided to do a speed session on Wednesday just gone. It was 10 times, one and a half minute at 5k effort, separated by two and a half minutes at a moderate effort. 
The 5K efforts I was hitting between 530 and 540 minute miles, the moderate efforts, low sevens. So probably the best times I've hit for that type of session. With it being 10 reps, it was 40 minutes worth of two and throwing. So that's given me a real confidence booster going into the weekend. Uh, this Saturday just gone, I did an hour and a half moderate effort run. That turned out to be a marathon. It was about an um, hour and 35 minutes all told. So again, probably one of the fastest times I've done for that effort and time duration. So all been told, we've missed maybe 10 days of the plan. Not a problem because I was able to do some easy running to maintain the fitness. We've just carried it on this week, just gone, where we hit 40 miles, two quality speed sessions. So I feel much better about where we're at. I've got a really tough session on Wednesday. Get through that okay. That'll be the final hurdle. Then it's game on for Saturday. So I'll see you all then. Her alarm goes off and she gets up to watch the morning. Morning guys, it's Saturday and we're just about to head off for park run. First time I've ever done this course, it's around York race course, very flat, circular, not very many bends. And I've not been very quiet about the fact we are going for it today. So that's why we're going there to get a PB but I'm a little bit nervous because Wednesday's speed session did not go to plan. My legs felt heavy, um, they were really struggling by the end and we started to do positive splits in the last couple. So I don't quite know what's happened there. I don't know if last Saturday took it out of me too much and I may be paying for it now, but fingers crossed it'll all come back uh, when we get on the start line. I've even had 150 milliliters of beetroot juice because I hear that it helps with circulation uh, and with blood flow. Talk about marginal gains, I hate the stuff. We also need to talk about some really exciting news, but I'm gonna save that for after park run. I'm gonna be getting involved in a project and let's just say it's gonna be massive. But we'll talk all about that after we try to go sub 80. <laughs> There we go guys, York Park Run done. That's my cherry popped and I was a little bit naive. As you can tell at the start, I got myself stuck in the middle of a pack. Should have really started from the very front because I cost myself at least two, three, maybe even four seconds there. But we still came in under 18 minutes. So I'm over the moon with that. Um, it was 17.49 unofficially, so it would have been lovely to have gone faster, but at the end of the day today it was all about getting under that 18, breaking through that barrier in my head so I know I can do it. I'm going to go home now, get this video edited, go out for pizza with the missus and watch Spider-Man at the cinema. I think it's important you celebrate the wins no matter how small they are because they don't come around that often. Before we finish this episode up, I just want to talk quickly about some real positive news I mentioned earlier on. I'm going to be collaborating and partnering with Thomas Drybala. Uh, he's an ultra endurance athlete. Uh, just the other year during COVID, he ran 7,000 kilometers um, in Asia. 
and he's planning an ultra run over the next three years that's going to be 40,000 kilometers. The circumference of the Earth is starting in the UK, going through Spain, Italy, Portugal, um, much of Europe. I think he's going through Africa, Asia and the USA as well. It's a very long term plan. Along the way, he's going to be getting involved with UNICEF, doing some charity work. There's other big partners, big brands getting involved with it. And he selected a small amount of influencers uh, to come along with him. Basically, I'll be traveling out to Portugal um, to run with him, train with him, uh, out to London as well to do some of these flow camps, which he's going to be doing along the way, which evolves around yoga and basically what he calls flow state. Uh, it's something I quite like the sounds of. I want to try and learn a bit more about because we all know I've had my issues over the last few weeks with getting in the run and being in the moment been too stressed I think this could really help me so it's gonna be great for me it means I can bring something fresh and new to you guys as well and I think it's just a real positive project to get involved in but we're gonna be talking a lot more on that over the coming weeks and months and possibly even years um, so I'm really excited about it I'm gonna leave the episode there guys there's lots of races coming up over the next month so we're gonna have lots of fun content coming up on the channel so I'll catch you all with the next one Take care, guys.